Hey guys, Brad the Guitologist here. What you're about to see is going to completely transform the way that you think about the electric guitar. So stick around. Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the highest quality woven guitar, bag, and camera straps you'll ever see. Native Sons straps are handmade one at a time in the USA with unparalleled love and care. Click the link in the description to check out their new expanded lineup featuring all new 3-inch guitar straps. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. This one going. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Brad the Guitologist here. i got something special today. This is... Boaz uh, El Elkayim. Elkayim, yes. Elkayim. He is uh, from Israel and he's made a special trip j just to see us today, uh, all the way from Israel. Correct. <laughs> Actually, that's only partly true. You guys, it was interesting because I was scrolling down my Facebook the other day and I came across one of your guitars and I reached out to you on, on Facebook yeah. and I said, hey, what would it take to check out one of these amazing guitars that are so different? And you said, well, actually, I'm on my way to Nashville anyway, so I could probably swing up and see you. So serendipity, and here he is now. Yeah. Uh, so what is it you've brought for us today, Boaz? I brought the, we call it the Boaz One. Okay. So the Boaz One, it's basically a concept of uh, electric guitar that is um, supposed to give you all the options. Right. And using uh, the modernization. Mm-hmm into reducing price, bring quality up, and do things that we could not do before uh, in, a, in a, let's say, good value for your money. Right. So what guide me uh, on this project is the vision of bringing this guitar to the people that cannot afford a good guitar. Okay. That was my vision, and it's... Uh, Affordable sounds good. Yeah. I, I didn't actually, I didn't know what to expect with regard to right. price. I just, I just said, hey, this is something cool. Can we look at it? So, so we start with the, with that. Oh, you know? cool. Yeah, you pull up the leg, you lock. Uh, and now the guitar can lean. Yeah, you're taking a spin off of the old Gibson idea with yeah. the, with the kickback. Yeah, it's yeah. not something, it's something that um, I guess uh, people thought about it before. Yeah. But I, this, this is a very elegant way of achieving it. The, the best inventions are just improvements upon yeah. someone else's ideas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although there is a, there's about 12 patents in this guitar, mm -hmm. I still uh, think that um, I want to collect good ideas and put it together. Sure. Yeah. And if someone already invented, I'll give him the royalties. Right. Well, I have seen other modular guitars before, um, yeah. and and a lot of the modular guitars that I've seen, they're actually doing it with the purpose of trying to change the appearance of the guitar. So they'll leave the neck and the electronics all together, and then they'll take the wings off of the body, and you can put on different wings and like basically change the appearance of the overall. You, you know, can shape do of that the here. You can do that also. Yeah, yeah. Look, so we'll put it back now. All we do is click here. I go for the command pluck. The body come out. Okay. See? So it's fully mod. This is actually beyond even what I expected. I didn't yeah. expect the body to come off. So the body come off, and you got body with legs. Okay. You can have a body. Um, where is it? Where I put it? Here. This or this no, one? No, no. Here, here, here. Okay. Yeah. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna check out this body. See, see, this is what we're looking at, guys. This is a, uh, and there's a clip here on the back. And you, you yeah, clipped it, it with the... Uh, I put it back showing show yeah. your, your audience. So basically we put a guitar like that. Okay. And look at that. That's and the, it. And the clip is just right... It's just right there. So it, that's that simple. Is there a way... Um, have you thought about a way to lock it so that it doesn't yes. fall off? Or? Yes. Yes. Again, okay. we're talking about the prototype. The prototype, right. But uh, the next prototype going to have a locking system. Okay. Uh, because we want to be on the safe side, not that it will open anyway. But right. Yeah. So, well, if your belt buckle gets caught on, the, if you you know you're yeah, a big trucker yeah. and you got a big belt buckle. But even if it's open, <laughs> it, the guitar will not come out sideways. Right. It would yeah, have to come. Yeah. Would, would, sit yeah. against your stomach. It re, no, it's not going to open this way. Just, but if but if you got to do one of you know. Yeah. If you're going to do that, <laughs> you need to lock it. So so it's a lock. It's that simple. See. 
That's right, it. right. And now, the, the other thing, I'm yes, sorry to interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, may I see the body one, one more time? Yeah, sure. Uh, the other thing I wanted to note about this is that it's plastic. Now, is this like, um, is this injection molded plastic? It does, yeah. It, it's, is it? It's a inject okay. mold, injected mold, yeah. And it's in two pieces. You've got... It's more than two pieces. More than two pieces. you've got the parts. Right, right. Yeah, but two major pieces. Right. Yeah, like a shell kind like of. A, like a sandwich there, and then they're yeah. bolted together. Yeah. Very interesting. Then we have a body that go on a strap, which is this one, you see? Okay. And that's click from the side, like that. Yeah? Okay. You have two clicks for safety. So it will not open unless you open both. I see. Yeah? And now it's allow you, um, to, you're using the strap, of course. On right. This body. We have also a pick collector. A pick holder? <laughs> yeah, it's not just a pick holder. It, it's always taking you in. You see, you don't need to look. You just put your head and it bring you you know, after do it five, ten times, twenty times, two hundred times, right. just you bring it in without looking, because anywhere you go, it just it slides, just guides, guides it into you the, into yeah, it. yeah. So this is a cool thing. Instead of putting it in your mouth, you right. just go like that, and it's in. Very nice feature. Uh, may I make one more suggestion? Yeah. Find course. find a way to hold a slide. Uh, we do have an idea for okay. the slide, and the slide is gonna go right here. Okay. On a magnetic. The slide is gonna have a magnetic line, and it's got clack. Okay. So you go in and take it out. Right. And you put it and you take it out. What if your slide is glass? The side will be glass with a strip of metal with inside. A strip of metal. Double okay. side tape it. Now look it up. We want to change sound. We have a click here, you see? Right. And we click it gently and it's come out. This was the part I was really interested yes. in. Uh, okay. So, and then hold it for a second. Right. Take, um, let's say I take a three single coil because I want to have like a Stratocaster sound. So, same thing, I just put it in mm -hmm. and go as easy as that. Right. That's it. Yeah, slick and simple. Got, we got here two mushrooms made out of silicon rubber, and basically they squeezed in, but only on the last one eighth of an inch. Right. So, when you click, they it make it open easy. Yeah. Because they push out. Right. When you push in, just on the very last. It's locked. It's it just just move. enough to kick it out just slightly. In. Yeah. yeah, and you see, there's no movement. It was very important for us that the, the, all those parts will just snag together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just snag together because plastic is a very noisy material. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's this that's interesting too because that brings a whole another dimension on the whole tone wood debate because there's no wood in this. This is all plastic. Correct. Uh, and now. What what is the uh, neck made of? Is that also plastic steel no, reinforced? No, the neck or? the neck is just a shell okay. of um, dolerin, which is um, it's a very condensed plastic, rich with fibers. But inside the neck, it's the fillet. You see, it's it's yeah. not like hollow. It's it's solid. There's a substance that to it. Yeah, now. and what uh, what we try to do here, I say we because we it's a teamwork. Yeah? Okay. Uh, it's a teamwork of uh, four partners, and basically what we try to do is take all the critic mass from where we don't need it on the guitar, like the body, to where we need it on the guitar, It's mm -hmm. and it's along the string line. Yeah. So now when you pluck the string, the energy just go to the pickups instead of get wasted anywhere else. Right. That's why it's almost like the neck pulling you in, but by having a long horn, on we have uh, we have it balanced. So so, so you, this you've, design you've for done a this to balance. Yeah, the this design for okay. a strap. This design to sit on your leg. Right. Yeah. And of course, I don't need to tell you that in the future there will be many different bodies that you know can, sure, can sure. fill up all 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 functionalities, aesthetic and not aesthetic. Well, that's the brilliance of a of uh, you know a modular guitar anyways because you can change it not just the looks you can change this so easily uh, you could change everything about your guitar within a couple of clicks and how did you do this again how did you take this you one? have a, you have a clip inside here oh that's on the back that's it yeah, and that's See it how easy <laughs> it's almost a moron proof. that's it really yeah. is yeah do you know what else is cool about this what uh, you could actually take you could plug this in and then these are just pickups. So you yeah. could actually come up to anything that's vibrating, and, and you could pick it, yeah. up. You could record something. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, you, you know, the sky is the limits of the the possibilities will come out from this concept. Yeah. I have no doubt. I know that people will ask me, boss, just send me a blank, and I want to put my own pickups, and I want to set up my own volume tones and knobs, and, and it's clear that people will do it. Right. As as a as a 
beginning option, we have three options of humbucker, single coil, and, and just the, the basic combinations. Right. But I, of course, in the future will be uh, endless. Well, that's the other cool thing about this is, I mean, you could actually, you could, I suppose, reverse engineer this if you really wanted to get something, you know, of your own. You probably could build that. No, you, you it are, would take some time. It would cost <laughs> almost nothing to ask us as a company to, yeah, to send yeah. a, a blank. The the thing it would the thing that would be hard to do to reproduce would be the the clipping mechanism. I think if anybody want to reproduce it, you just need to check how much it's going to cost us, and and it's not worth. It's it going to be low cost it's enough anyway be because low of, cost. because of what it's made from. Yeah, exactly. The way that it, this clips in, it reminds me of almost like a game uh, gaming system or something. Because yeah, we call the it the cassette. Yeah, that's why yeah. we call it the cassette. Right. It is. It's kind of it's very cassette yeah. inspired. Yeah. Um, Let's see, we have. Um, uh, here we have uh, a single, uh, single single coil, coil. but like the Stratocaster okay. one, uh, made by Lace for us. Well, the thing about these two is that if you wanted this to be super fast, you could even have you could even have these plugged into different amps and have the cables already plugged into the module and just plug it in, and it you'd instantly you see, be in. We're a learning. Uh, we're learning all the time. Yeah. Yeah, good. I mean, you know, I, not that I suggest carrying down around three or four different amps, but, no, but you could right. do yeah. that. Yeah, you um, can have it ready plugged. Maybe he needs the uh, maybe he needs a, a belt. If, if you want the belt. So we go from that to. Okay, so yeah, are, are we still live here? Yeah, we still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We do. So it's like. So you need to do it. <laughs> There's all kinds of possibilities. Yeah. You could actually set up something <laughs> that's vibrating already and just walk up to it. You know, you, you could. It, 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 I, my mind's going crazy with the possibilities of what uh, yeah. you could do with a live, a live show. You know what I mean? With something yeah. like that. Let me hold it for you. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Um, so yeah, this just clicks like that and then you're on to another guitar so like if you okay that's it yeah so what was this um because this is yeah. modular they're all the yeah. same and yeah. you don't have a switch on this one. no it's because um you know it's a prototype right and we try to cover all the options and in the least the, number of parts yeah, yeah exactly makes yeah. makes perfect sense yeah. um but here you can have it with the selector see right yeah so you but here there's no need for selecting when you have one. So is this the same spacing as a standard Stratocaster? Almost. Almost? Almost. It's uh, just a question of millimeters. Uh, so we need to squeeze it because it's running in. Well, let's plug that one in. Yeah. Let's plug that one in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what's... The thing about this channel is, I, I don't know if you how many of my videos you watched or got to see before coming here, but you know I do a lot of vintage stuff. I do repairs on amplifiers, um, there, so there's a lot of technology involved in the things that I, you know, cover. But there's also a lot of um, you know vintage in the things that I cover. You know, I talk about vintage guitars and stuff. You guys saw my vintage guitar collection. Yes. Uh, Very impressive. The, the, well, that's the, that's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, <laughs> uh, but. You know, I also try to keep up with um, sort of cutting edge things, but not just anything that's cutting edge. I like stuff that's uh, interesting and seems to serve a function or a purpose. Um, and this, to me, seems like it would serve a purpose for sure for a traveling musician, somebody who wanted the, the fewest number of things to take with them, but the most options. It's exactly what Richie Allen says. Yeah. He's uh, Dolly Parton guitarist. Ask, um, how much, ask how much, uh, how much the guitar will cost. Uh, how much will the guitar cost? At three ninety nine, you're joking. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I is told this one you. For sale? I, no, this one is not for sale. But uh, like this one will be soon for sale. Yeah. Um, may I have the other body? How, yeah, how do I change yeah. the other body? Okay. Because of the safety. Of, yeah. Um, you need to open both of them. Since I'm sitting anyway, yeah. I might as well. And then you bring the other body. Okay, so one. that clips on in a different direction. And, uh, close the amplifier so we don't gotcha. make extra noise. Yeah. Yeah. Great, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So there's also a that's it. See? There's also a speaker body. Yeah. We we we're, we're gonna show it sure. Tilt that down just a bit. There we go. And uh that's it. You got the other body here. Okay, so that took what I, I, we can do that in real time. That took what of all of probably twenty seconds? 
Yeah, to change well, the guitar. it's very quick. If you have that body that we had before, it's a question of really seconds to change. Yeah. And if we do what you suggest, to have the cable connected to the to the cassette, already, there's yeah. just it's like two seconds. Yeah, and it's you, you plug. Yeah, with this body, with that body. Yeah. Pay attention to the, to the long sustain the, that the guitar has. It just feels really substantial. The neck, you know, it feels um, it, it feels like it ha it's a good surface for sustain, like you said. And what is this? is this aluminum or what? What is this? No, the fretboard. The fretboard is uh, dollarin. Oh, it's oh, it's that mat okay, dollarin. Yeah. It's a Never very heard strong of it. plastic. Yeah, just a really a, strong plastic. A very strong really plastic. Dense, That's the thing. Imagine you take a hammer and you hit metal. Yeah, it will bend. Imagine you take a hammer and you hit rubber. You can do it a million times. As long as Bounce you are right not over the limit, it can go forever. And we have uh, the early models. They're about six years now. Right. Six. Yeah, six, six years, years now. Nothing. No any dent. No no signs no, of wear at no, all no, on the, no, on the no, frets. Nothing. So okay, I have to show you the frets here. Hang on. I'm going to zoom. I'm going to try to zoom in here so we can get a good shot of the frets. Okay, so the fretboard is extremely interesting on this. So this is all, you can see the frets themselves and the board itself is all one piece. And uh, I presume that you you did some f um, finishing and that's why these are kind of crowned. Yeah, yeah, we had to color it right. just for, because it's it's uh, it's a prototype as, as we said. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, but you, pay attention that you don't get scratch and, and feeling bitter when you move your hand across the frets. Right, oh, exactly. Not, it's just yeah. smooth. It's just, yeah. yeah. So... And the thing is, you said that uh, in your test so far, this stuff is holding up very well, and it's called Dollarin. Yeah. Dollarin. Yeah. Okay, interesting. The, the, very the, interesting. The name, the, the technical name is Acital, but uh, I know in the U.S. they they know it as Dollarin. Okay. Yeah. It's a very strong plastic, very expensive plastic, um, and nothing stick to it. So it's a very quiet attack. Also, when you play, it's a it's a quiet attack against the string, not like when you have metal. <laughs> Yeah, because that would be a... Yeah, exactly. You would get really it's loud. Less. Yeah. It's much less. Oh, and one other thing, Brad, is that we're going to have also a neck that have metal frets. So okay. people will have the option. You'll have options. Yeah. Of course, the metal frets will be uh, slightly more expensive. Right. Yeah. Um, now, down the road, uh, my, I, I guess my main question, if I was a buyer, if I walked into a music store and, and somebody showed me this guitar, my main question would be, well, when and if the frets do start to wear, would I be able to replace just the fretboard or just the neck? Well, if the frets wear because of uh, aggressive playing, mm -hmm. yeah, otherwise they will not. But okay. aggressive player then it will, can be replaced by standard frets, not by plastic frets. Oh, with standard frets. Yeah. And, uh, so you uh, would suggest um, just... But the good news is that we, 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 we don't know if to give three years warranty or five years warranty. Mm -hmm. Bumper to bumper, I would right. say. So, you know, you, you're on the safe side because we know five years being playing daily, there's nothing happening. But some beginners, they push very hard, and yeah. they can create damage, so they can move to normal frets.
dollar question. Okay, I have a question for you. Does, sure, sure. does it feel like plastic? No. <laughs> no. Well, the body, the body does. I'll be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, the, the, the body, body does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this part does, but this part does not. Um, no, if I had to get... And, and I'm sure, you know, there's there would also... I mean, there's a bit of an orange peel kind of a quality to the back of this. No, it's been um, painted. This one been painted. The, the, the oh, it's been painted. Yeah, okay. The original one will come out of the of the injection uh, plastic all the way. You could scratch it and it still would be the same color. Right. Even if you get to the other side. Right. Yeah. No, orange but this one is painted. It means, it means the feel. Yeah, yeah, the skin. The yeah, skin yeah, yeah. Like yeah it, feels, it feels like there's a bit yeah. of a skin there. Um, I'm not sure if I would like that smoother or not. I, I would have to. I think I'd have to test both. You know, both ways and see if you know. That um, would, Look, to be to be honest, we still um, we still we still have questions. Oh sure, and that's why I'm, I'm giving I'm going to give you feedback here as well. Exactly, and, and it's uh, and that's why we came to 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 Nashville and the, touring the U.S. You are an engineer, yeah. and I get it. And everybody who's watching this channel will get it because it's this is something we sit down with all the time. We go through amplifiers. We say we're going to change this. We're going to change that. Here's yeah. what it's going to sound like after the fact. Oh, oh, we messed up there. Let's go back and test something else so this is an engineering totally. channel so I think my viewers right. uh, yeah. if anybody will get it so yeah. um, and of course we're trying to create a better guitar each time we discuss it each time I, I think our team is so open for advice and so open for suggestions um, and, uh, and, and designers say for example you have um, you thought of I mean let's say for example this body you want a, you want a Brad Body. Custom something, right? Yeah. yeah. You design it. And you get your name on it. And we yeah. get your name on it. With royalties. With sales and with royalties. Uh, now you're speaking my Yeah. Way. <laughs> I'm speaking to everybody. <laughs> if someone have an idea and, he can, and we adapt it, mm -hmm. that's his, mm -hmm. his name on it, or initials, and, and, and royalties, of course. Beautiful. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Another thing I wanted to, to um, remember you said about um, what happens when the frets wear out. Mm -hmm. Well, he explained that, you know, the frets probably will not wear out but if they do how much is a refretting job nowadays yeah it's at least uh it's at least probably about 300 bucks, 300 bucks. at least you can either get a new guitar yeah <laughs> yeah for that price the whole system you can get a whole new system for that right. price or let's say you have a, you know you don't want to replace your body you don't want to replace your uh, your pickups or whatever your, your pickups right you just replace the middle part sure you know what I mean? That will cost you maybe 150 or whatever. You, you, you understand what I mean? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I guess what... Yeah, I, was, I didn't think about it. Yeah. I guess what, what I was trying I'm so to... so busy in designing it, so I don't think about uh, the um, uh, outcome of different different situations. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to... Um, if, if I wanted to remove uh, the neck from this guitar, from the from the back of the neck, if I wanted to remove the fretboard from this for some reason, like for repair purposes. You're, is that possible no, or is that not? not? Okay. Um, and I tell you why it's not possible because okay. on the fingerboard have an optimal setup. Okay. And it was the desired relief and everything. So it's so accurate and we built special jigs and fixtures to create this situation and then we lock it. Right. So there's no way you you need to break it in order to open it. You have, yeah. yeah. But but the good news is that you don't need to set up this guitar. Mm -hmm. And under the warranty, you don't need to set up. This would, I mean, it's not going to be affected by climate. No, you can, you can leave it in because your car. Because it's not wood. Uh, all all, <laughs> all summer long. long. Yeah. Yeah. The because system. it's not wood, yeah. The bridge system. Okay, the bridge have um, uh, many issues. Uh, and that was the thing I was going to ask uh, next. The, well, the bridge and also this nut, this strange nut. It's like you're, you've got it um, countersunk down in, into the... The into nut, the neck. The nut, the nut is sitting on the frame inside. Oh, okay. So we create a complete uh, oh, a, a so force Mary's of energy. A, yeah. It's a circle. Create a, a totally... Uh, 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 minimize the loss of energy so everything go to the pit. Yeah. I've talked so much yeah. about that, about the okay. minimizing so, loss of energy. Yeah. Um, and, and also, uh, you, can, you can take the, 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 the nut out and change it to um, let's say 7.2 like Gibson. So the nut is is changeable. The yes, it's is. changeable, okay. but it's leaning it leaning on the frame inside. Right. So you can take it out and change it to Gibson like 7.2, uh -huh. a space between the strings, or like Fender, which is seven, or whatever, or whatever you wish. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. 
and uh, let's see. And you do have just just a, a bit of a tilt back, but this is not going to break like a Gibson. <laughs> no, it's not going to break. Yeah, that's all. like uh, maybe yeah. what twenty degrees, something like that. It's fourteen maybe. degree. Fourteen. Yeah, it's fourteen degree, like my classic guitars, and I, and, and no string trees. Yeah, everything's pretty much straight. Yeah. You, I mean, you've designed this very well, Boaz. I'm, <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm very impressed. Some <laughs> of the you. things that you have, uh, you've obviously sat and thought about. Now, uh, look at the back here. Mm -hmm. uh, if we open the, the three screws, we mm -hmm. can take the complete, of course, releasing the strings, we can take the complete tuning mechanism out. Shall we? And change it. <laughs> no. No, no? You don't want to do that? Oh, you, oh, you no. want, you're talking about you could take the whole... The complete mechanism out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and change it. To, uh, you can open it and look at the, the, the what's going on inside, but you will see a, um, 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 a hole there that hold all the six tuners in place. Okay. And if you you can change it and upgrade your tuners to a, a more expensive ones if you wish, a high ratio if you wish, and and uh, you know locking, endless possibilities. Locking tuners. Lock, locking, tuners. locking tuners. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the bridge. The bridge. Um, you have an Allen key uh, attached nicely on the back. Uh, in, it was a magnetic touch. Okay. Yeah. Right. We, Are we, we able to see it if we take the back? You, off? you will be okay. if you have. Um, uh, wait. Wait a second. Okay. To, uh, uh, I close. Okay. Close. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, here. Okay. Yeah. This will let you see what how to take it off too. Yeah. It's a little easier. Okay. Take it out. So that's see, that. You you see you bring an Allen key. We we actually oh forgot. it's a place for an Allen key. You see, and it's magnetic. <laughs> it's just clack. So this Allen key that you take from here easily because you have a place for your finger. Right. We you thought about uh, that it would be that you need to get your finger in there so you don't break your nails. Also. Right. Yeah. Yep. And you can tune each each um, each uh, uh, string for intonation. And for intonation. And you can also slide it in and go on the wheel up and down. What, what am I? What am I looking at here? I, I, I can't. I mean, it's 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 diff I mean, this is unlike any th bridge I've ever seen. Uh, let's. Okay, as you're explaining it, my mind is kind of blinking out because I'm thinking to myself, "What the hell is he talking about?" Okay, if I wanted to intonate this, you have something sharp for metal that I can uh, like uh, any a metal that could reach in. Okay. Okay. There you go. So by putting from here. You can uh, change the intonation. Oh, okay. So you're saying the yeah. You can you can go inside and and you can move it back and forth. I'm not going to move it because it's no, well sure. intonated. Absolutely. And by pushing the the thing here, you see, look what's happened to the string. It's going up. You see. Oh, that changes the height. That is this your design? Yes, 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 yes. This is our design. Totally. You're, you're a genius. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just love what I'm no, doing. No, you are. You're a genius. Yes, I agree. Now, look at this. <laughs> no, look at this, everybody. So in, in one, in, in five seconds, you create your own action. Okay, show show that one more time. Show how to raise okay, and lower so the strings. The camera, is, uh, the camera is here? Yep, it's right on it. Okay, so just, just, tuck, tuck. You it have, just clicks, clicks, clicks. Clicks, all, clicks, clicks all the way up. Now you have extra And you're just action. raising. So you have cammed that. That's a cam. That's a cam that's sitting um, on, on uh, it was important for me to hear the click, 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 click. It was very important yeah, for me. Yeah, absolutely. So, but inside here, there's an eccentric wheel. Okay. So it sits on an eccentric wheel. That's why it go up and down. Right. So, yeah, it's it. like a It's a, like a little ratchet on a, with, a, with a cam. Yes. Now, um, Tony Grenier is... Um, you have Dylan. a patent on this, right? Yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Good for you. Um, we do have a patent, not because I want it. I, I am anti-patent guy because I want to share my ideas. I do share my ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at my history, you see that I design a lot of guitars and I never wrote a patent. But here it's a different story. There is investment. There is molds. There is, it's other, really business. There's it's other people to exactly, consider exactly, well. and they yeah. want to protect it. Right. But uh, it's okay because I'm not against being protected. That makes that makes perfect sense um, yeah. to protect yourself. So um, Tony Granieri said, "Was the next one is a bass guitar." He's a Bob Dylan guitar, a bass guitarist. Okay. And he said, that would be great if we can lift all the strings in once and have the feel of double bass. The feel of a double yeah. bass. Yeah, and if you don't want it, just click down. So this is the next project. So you would, do, you would have something that come out the end and was like... I will have something that bring all the strings with one touch, with a lifter. Okay. And all the strings on a bass guitar will come up so you can play like a double bass style. Yeah. yeah and then you can push it back and... and, and and have this uh, touch of double bass on your bass guitar. Right. So bass guitar is coming next. Ah, oh, okay, okay, one more thing. Okay. Okay, so, so this bridge, like I said, if someone uh, like to mess up with the strings, okay. 
and he let's say he have tuned that god and he just want perfect intonation on different tuning this bridge will do it yeah. so <laughs> if someone have a standard tuning it yeah. just use that bridge which already by computer and by experimenting we got it perfectly intonated so you don't need to intonate. So you're saying yourself. like if somebody wanted to do like a dad gad tuning, like and have you need to go for in the middle thing. of a show, like they wanted to change over to dad gad, and but they didn't want to. No, no, that's not setup. what I'm is saying. That... If someone just play normal tuning, uh -huh. this bridge is perfectly intonated. Got, gotcha. It doesn't, it, it doesn't need to mess it up. Uh -huh. Now, what's happened when you take your string high? When you stack a string high, you create um, more distance for the string to push. And so you change the intonation. Exactly. So what we did here, we have the comb. You see the comb? Uh -huh. We have the comb, which is that. Right. And we have the wheel, which is that. So when you create high action, the comb going this way. Like you set it up backwards. It's coming, okay. Of course, in a very small measures. Sure. But when you low the action, the comb coming this way. Right. So you decide you decide how you want your action, the intonation will happen automatically. So this is self intonate. You don't need to go to a, 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 a guitar a guitar um, So if you adjust the height you, you adjust the height the intonation will happen automatically. Okay. Why? Because look at my fingers. Because it's moved because exactly. it's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So people will go. Bravo. This guitar is not expensive, but it's very well tuned. And, uh, okay. you, you you are a genius. <laughs> I'm hey, not a genius. Yeah, you have solved uh, so many problems for guitarists yeah. uh, w w in this design. Th this bridge design. This is the mother load. <laughs> it is. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, well, that's the thing. It's not expensive. Um, and you have three years warranty. So, so don't worry. Now, well, now, that, now that it did fall apart, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the pieces. Okay, the pieces. So you, now, now you can see them. Now yeah. I'll be able to see. Yeah, put it in um, there. And we'll be able to see. Well, there's a the key. Yeah. We'll find it. Don't worry. Okay. Really, don't find well, it. That's okay. Just one uh, more. There it is. Got okay. it. Got it. Okay. So this is what we. This is what I was asking about right here. The way this is cammed. You can see that it's off center, so exactly. that it's yeah. eccentric. Yeah, it's eccentric, right? The camel on where hold the string is eccentric. So when you turn it, the the camel go up and down. So this is moving, yeah. As you turn this, this will move. And also this piece, this comb. What he was saying is, as this ra as you raise and lower your individual exactly. string, what's going to happen is this will actually move back and forth. It will move back and forth, which will automatically adjust your intonation. You got it. Excellent. Okay, exactly. That's it. Now they're like a Lego to go inside. Yeah. See? It's one reach into the other. Look like at that, just like a Lego. And they're all sitting nice uh, inside here. And then the comb go here. And just, there's nothing can go wrong here. Yeah. Are these printed pieces no, here? No, no, no. They're not printed. They're machined. Okay. The machine from the real, pr the real material we're going to inject. Okay. The printer, it's uh, just different material. And see, once you have them all. And this prototype is, these are brass, right? Those are brass and also machined. So, okay. yeah, some people are very fancy, you know that. So, if someone wants to be fancy, um, he can order the brass one. Or, okay. Which, of course, they're more expensive because they are machined. Abs absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's how it goes. You can upgrade and upgrade and upgrade, but at least your starting point is very low. It's going to be an inexpensive starting yes. point. And you build it as as it, you go along. So we all hear different music in our ear. Um, always take it, just hold it in your pocket. Yeah. And by the way, we uh, the other guy who is here. His name is Morris. He's yeah. just off camera yeah, back there. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, Morris. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what do I get? Let's say I wanted to buy your system uh, for what'd you say three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. What would I get for my three hundred ninety nine bucks? You get. Uh, your choice of humbacker, a single coil. Okay. Like that. Okay. And okay. this one. Yeah. And this is the one that any of the stand-up players would want anyway, because it's it's balanced for the. Right. right. Yeah. This one. Right this one was that body. Right. That's what you get. Okay. Bridge. Now, as you upgrade, you can bridge, upgrade to this bridge. Ah, with and, that and, bridge. And the, and the, yeah. Yes. And the plastic the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And the plastic bridge. 
Um, you get it, of course, with uh, with um, tuning machines, basic ones. Okay. Yeah, they're not anything fancy, but right. they're okay. They're most uh, most guitars in the world. Okay, and uh, additional modules. Let's say I wanted to buy the Strat module. Um, what would it? What would this be extra? It, what do you project? What, what are you decided. thinking? We don't okay. know yet. It's not going to go more than one hundred and fifty dollars for sure, enough, right? Well, well, it's a whole nother guitar essentially. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. I don't, don't know. It depends how much the pickups will cost. Uh, will cost us, but I had so much work designing this instrument and working on rejection, and I'm so uh, perfectionist. Six. I never. I'm never happy. Even now, I'm not happy. You think I completed it, and and my partner saying, "Boys, that's it," and people love it like you. Yeah. But for me, I s I see the next one, and I see the next you, one. That's that's why you have version two. Yeah. Version exactly. 2 so I'm right. going. We already. I already have yeah. version two and three, but. That's why uh, on the on the business part we're not set yet. It's okay. important for me first that it's play right, but I'm I'm totally gonna work it as uh, as, as Maurice says, as an ecosystem. So we're so, going to we're going to a crowdfunding campaign. Okay, that, I now that's the first thing that I saw. I saw that you were it was a crowdfunding appeal. You were gonna try it, uh, doing yeah. doing that. Uh, and that's to get what your tooling and everything to get like your first. Uh, there's orders. more than that. I tell you, there's more than that, uh, Brad. Mm -hmm. We had uh, experience in the past with uh, some uh, companies and, and different uh, business people who tried to bring this project. Okay. But we realize that when you think business, you start cutting costs. Yeah. And cutting costs and cutting costs. And it's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do here is work it out really to the, to the musicians. Mm -hmm. There's enough money here. There's enough money here. It's just more and more and more. So we took a decision two years ago that we're going to produce it ourselves without okay. interruptions of business people. Right. And the molds are three hundred thousand dollars. The yeah. molds to create the first one. Right. And it's a money that today's we can. The only way we can bring this money is crowdfunding. Speaking of crowdfunding, I will put a link to the crowdfunding uh, down in the description. If you guys want to check this out, if you want to become like some of the first patrons of this to try to bring it to market. Uh, that's what Boaz is trying to do and I'll, I'll tell you this, I think Boaz you're a genius, honestly, uh, with some of the <laughs> things that you've, you, you, you know, some of the problems that you've solved here. I'm not allowed and get, there's a teamwork here. I, I, oh, I understand that yeah, too. I understand that we too. We have four people. Uh, we have Gilad that is a long time partner. Uh -huh. We have uh, Morris which lift uh, the company uh, in terms of pushing it toward where we are. And we have Gordon uh, Roberts, which is a, a guy, he's just, uh, this guy is a guitar. The guy yeah. is a guitar, guitar guy, guy, Robert, guitar, that's it. The guy yeah. should, uh, he will take care of the sales and, and public relations and uh, customer service and so on and so on. Right. So we a complete team, and that's why you say I'm a genius, but it's a teamwork. Uh, is it, um, are you guys family or are you? No, we're not. Not, not at all. We just, each partners? one is good at what it does. Right. Each one is very good at what he does. Excellent. So, yeah. Hey, yeah, that's but, a beautiful but, thing. But, but I agree with you. Genius. Yeah. I totally agree with you. I mean, he's, he's Mo very modest. Most real geniuses are modest. Yes, yes. I've, I've now, found this yes. out. Um, sure. There's a good news for the people in the crowdfunding. It's going to cost much less for them as early birds. Okay. But this is not the good news. The good news is that I'm going to sign each one. Uh, but I'm going to sign it so it's become a collector item. Right. So the first one, those who buy it in the Kickstart, they're going to have... Not, uh, not Kickstarter, uh, in, Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Those, Indiegogo. Yeah, okay. those who are going to yeah. buy it in Indiegogo, they're going to have my uh, signature on. Okay. Just for one reason. So if they keep it, let's say, in their closet, right. saved for 10, 20 years, it's going to be worse. And if you kick the bucket in the next <laughs> five, <laughs> it'll just go... <laughs> so yeah, so they can be very happy in the future and I can be very happy. Well, I, I uh, I'm very happy to have you in my house. I mean, uh, it's not every day I get to have somebody of, of uh, an engineer of your caliber, uh, you know, down here. Also, I think it's important to tell so. your audience that uh, my background is not um, it, it's real guitars making. Oh, you're a luthier. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But but this is engineering. Yeah, this yeah. is engineering. It but is. I'm not like an avant-garde that decide to make something strange. 
I'm coming from a very traditional background and classic guitar maker, flamenco maker. And, and I have seen some of your, and you actually have some guitars that are kind of Kasha inspired as well with the much, Kasha bridges. Very and much, the, yes. I, I noticed that. Yeah. I, I've, I've owned a couple of the Gibson Kasha experiments from the tell, 70s. The, tell, them about, tell them about Kasha. Kasha. Kasha just died two years ago, Professor Michael Kasha. I did not know that. Yeah, he was a um, professor of honor at uh, Florida State University. Right. He was By a way, biologist, isn't just that Just right? so you know, I live in Israel, but I'm a U.S. citizen. Oh, okay. Thanks to Florida State University in Tallahassee. They gave me, uh, I got my, my green card and my citizenship because of the, my, my uh, support to the U.S. Uh, I have, there's a nice letter. There. I'm a U.S. citizen. Yeah, well, based on, on my uh, distribution to the... No, no, no but, but the thing is, the thing is my... Tell, tell them how you met the Kasha. Tell them what Kasha did, I mean, what you guys did for each other. You, you actually met Professor Kasha. Yeah, I worked you with worked him for with, four years. You worked with... Four with years, I was an advisor. Okay. All wait, right. wait, here, here we go. <laughs> All right. Here. We're on another level now. No, I was an okay. advisor at, uh, for the Acoustic Laboratory at Florida State University yeah. under Professor Michael Kasha. Wow. For four years. Okay, and, so f to my audience who doesn't understand who Professor Kasha was, uh, he worked very closely in the 1970s with another gentleman. Now, who was the gentleman? Richard who? Schneider. Richard Schneider. Correct. Okay, he worked with the luthier Richard Schneider, and, and uh, Professor Kasha was a professor of biology, I believe, and also microphysics. He had some other microphysics, yeah, some other uh, uh, qualifications. Yeah. But they d jointly developed what became the, uh, the Gibson Mark series, acoustics. K100. Yeah, MK, uh, well, went up K100. to... A100. Yeah, well, that was the highest one. I think they made one of those, and then the 81 was technically the highest one. And I probably. had an 81, uh, and they only probably. made like 400 probably. of those. I'm not that uh, familiar, but I know... Extremely they... rare guitars. Yes. Very rare. Uh, they didn't make a whole lot of them, and they were considered kind of a commercial flop. But if you ever get a chance to get one of those in your hands and check it out, they're extremely interesting. The way that they are braced and the way they vibrate, they have a, they have a different shaped... Uh, and I'll put some pictures up for you guys to check it out, but they have a different shaped bridge. Uh, everything about them is just rethinking the acoustic guitar. And that's kind of why I'm attracted to this sort of thing, because anybody who's thinking outside the box in the way that you're doing here, and in the way Professor Kasha uh, obviously did, uh, is, is in my brain, you know, in my mind, you're, you're pushing it forward. You're pushing the envelope forward. And that's important. Yeah, um, you know, I do you, push the envelope always. Yeah, always. I mean, I, I could go and grab a, a, t a Telecaster, or I could grab a you know a Les Paul or something like that, and I'd be happy with it because it's it's you know it's traditional and it, I understand it, I know it as a player. But this is something that definitely uh, fits a uh, fits a, a niche for people. This fits right. a need actually for we're for some traveling. We're musician. not here to replace the tradition. Right. Electric guitar. We're here to add something that uh, we think it's uh, time, time, time uh, it, uh, invited, invited, invited. Right. This concept. Yeah. And and also, I want to make clear to my audience and anybody watching. You know, I'm not getting paid to do this. This is not something. You know, I said, hey, give me some money and we'll sit down or anything like that. I'm I'm here because I'm an enthusiast of of guitars and guitar technology and moving the technology forward and that's uh, that's obviously the reason also you're doing this and that Correct. you're here too. Correct. Um, and if you can make something on this and you can make a career out of I mean a living doing this, I enjoy. Man. That would be wonderful. I enjoy. You have no idea how much I enjoy working on this project. I, I can tell. Yes. I can absolutely. And, and like tell. I said, I'm coming from a traditional uh, background of uh, Luthery. But here, it's uh, it's uh, it's um, I'm excited for the endless possibilities of of working and changing and designing and it's it's really it's I'm, I'm really enjoy. This is my. Uh, um, by the way, the first prototype was in 1996. What is it now? It's like 32 years. Right. The early okay. early prototype. Yeah. There's a there's, so there's a, a long way here. We made a, a movie, like a half an hour movie where Boaz explains the evolution of this guitar. From the yeah. very first guitar, the very first prototype, it's a wooden prototype, Yeah. to up to, to, this, to one. this one. Interesting. On, I'll, I'll, on his I'll, Facebook. On yeah. his Facebook. Okay, so there's a movie as well that you can go check out. I will link that down in the description. Um, you know, I, and, and as far as the price point goes, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. You know, as, I didn't even think you would have any numbers available, really, to, uh, to be honest, because you're so... Uh, you you know I, I just felt like maybe you were looking for investment and like that was still kind of in flux but for 399 uh, that's that's a price point 
that somebody could just take a punt on. Uh, that's the price point that anybody walking to a guitar center just looking for something to splurge for themselves. <laughs> I mean, they could get into one of these, and uh, I think they'd be really happy, and then a, a year or two later maybe get a different module, exactly. invest in a different module here and there. And as far as uh, being somebody that w got in early, uh, I think it would be worth it to have your signature yeah, on something. Because be like much, I say, it's going to be much cheaper. I think you're a genius. Uh, I, I totally respect your background, and, and I didn't even know I didn't even know your background with respect yeah. to uh, uh, Professor, Professor Kasha. I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. I just saw that your guitars kind of were shaped like that, so yeah. I, I thought, oh, that's like the Kasha uh, guitars. So it's yeah, it's it's just a trip to have you here. Thank you, thank you, Boaz. Thank you so much. Was there anything else you wanted to show us? Yes, with one more thing. Okay, one more thing. You know, some people they do but want to be light, so we have the body that is amplified. <laughs> but the thing is that uh, due to a very uh, lack of budget, right. I had to buy an amplifier, a small one, and put it inside. Okay. But of course, uh, as time comes, we let somebody that is an expert at uh, designing amplifiers to design a unit that will go perfectly into it. Yeah. So it does work. You connect it and you can play it. But it's not, uh, it's not Sounding the the way we really want it to sound. Right, right. You need yeah. some. You need almost like a a Roland or something designed. Kind of exactly. That yeah. that level. Of, Doesn't it? Didn't or it need to be bread. Or bread. Or bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm I don't know if I could fit many tubes in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, so this is this is, does work. All you do you, you you attach it. Yeah. You connect it. Okay. And you play it. That's it. And you change the battery when they finish. I see. Yeah. So it's also an option. That people can have a body that they can it's a, they carry with them the amplification right for playing on street corner of course for playing uh, in your room and for somebody that doesn't want to spend big money on amplifier you can get that that that's brilliant as well let's, let's mm -hmm. see so this is uh this is a self-contained amplifier in, mm -hmm. in, in here so it's like an on off exactly uh, how, how and would volume you, uh, you just on like that tuck, and yep. volume mm -hmm. So it's it's it you know again a prototype stage but this is a concept kind a concept. of proof of concept yeah yeah um, to show that it's working and it's possible now I have a suggestion for you yeah when's the last time you thought about amp and case because they haven't made any of those since uh, the early 1980s the last company that made an amp and case was PV um, and if you're gonna have something like a a bag I mean that would increase your possibility to get better sound because then you could make the entire thing outboard. Um, you know, you might case. even be able to make an amp in case or an amp in bag or something like that that would pop up. Like if you um, grab that case right over there, step over, see that case right straight across? This is an old school amp in case. This is from Sears. Do, do, now, have you ever seen one of these? No. Wow. Okay, see, it holds the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and it has the amp in the case. Wow, and it's tube. And it's, and it's tube. Yeah. Wow. And it sounds great. <laughs> it wow. sounds uh, fa fabulous. You know what? I promise you, I'm going to work on that. And the case also will have a chair you can sit on. Fold it. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. <laughs> work it out. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But just remember, you have to give me my royalty. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. It's close deal. You're gonna, your initial going to be on that and royalties. So let's let's uh, play it a little bit if you don't mind. No, go ahead, enjoy okay. it. Yeah, sure. I wanted and I wanted to test your theory on picks. Let's see. So if I if I just look away, uh, I've hit like, I hit all three like every time. Yeah, uh, well, after you do it a few times, you get you you will win. Yeah. Um, you need the belt. That's brilliant. <laughs> I still would want to set it like that because there's a I, I wonder, there, I wonder if there would be a, a leg to there's a leg uh, coming out that will lean and it's also modeled yeah like if you had a leg that just went just like that like yeah. that and just and went yeah. right over the leg it's like yeah. a horseshoe yeah seated. right about there yeah. yeah yeah that would be it will help that would be about right yeah, yeah. good tone what what pickup is that? Lace. It's a lace. Yeah. Sounds great. 
I didn't know what to expect with that single pickup, but that sounds awesome. <laughs> Can I put the other body on and yeah. uh, change modules as well? I'm going to change yeah. modules while I'm at it. Okay, so there's yeah. that. And I'm not worried about the pot. Oh, first. Yeah. Well, wait, 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 wait. No, take this. Oh, okay. Right. Ah, gotcha. You. Now you're good. This can go. <laughs> yeah. And then instant to different guitar. sounds like a it almost sounds like a wall it sounds like a cocked wall doesn't it to you hats <laughs> off to you <laughs> yeah yeah the one the only thing um my only criticism would be that uh you know the, for the way that i sit and play you know i would want to sit like this obviously i need i need a stool we're we expanding that on the next model extending it a little yeah, bit so yeah i was going to suggest yeah yes. something something and we're expanding that a little bit to the 12th okay so there's more less dive for the neck. less dive for the neck yeah yeah, that's the, that would be my other concern as well, would be the neck dive. We're also um, um, stringing, uh, making the, the legs a little bit more stiff. Okay. And we're putting two bumps here, tiny bumps, so it doesn't lean on that, it leans on the bumps. Ah, so, okay. Yeah, so those are small changes that we're going to apply, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, we, we're hearing, um, uh, we call it, um, yeah. criticizing. Yeah. And we're adapting it, and we take it in. We take critics into tension. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. And that's that's what good engineers do. And like mm -hmm. I said, it's been an absolute pleasure, Boaz. Right. I, you know, I don't want to keep you all day, but at the same time, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is just absolutely brilliant, guys. Uh, check out uh, Boaz Guitars. One. Boaz One. Boaz One Guitar. Uh, and your last name was one more time. L L L 
LKM. LKM. Yes. Boaz LKM, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Boaz. <laughs> Thank you very much. Brilliant.